Welcome back, everybody, to some NBA 2K20 My League here with the Oklahoma City Thunder in the Western Conference Finals. Just took game number five on the road, now back into Oklahoma City, and a chance to take this game and go on to the NBA Finals. The last time this Thunder franchise was in the NBA Finals was in 2012. And now looking to get back just about 10 years later. And here we go. Can we take game number six? Games four and five were absolute blowouts. So I think the Mavericks are definitely going to have a better game this time with the elimination up for grabs. Here we go. And a chance to play game seven at home and down the lane goes LaMelo Ball. I'll tell you what, he's really turned into one of the better players, no doubt, in the league here just in his first season. He has been unbelievable. And now a chance to tie this ball game up, and here we go at 3-3 early on. We've gotten off a good start the last two games, and we've really just turned it on in the second half, I would say, and really blown this team out. And right now we're off to a very good start with the three there by ball, 8-3 game here, just the first few minutes here into this first quarter. And, yeah, those, those games have to be... A bit of a surprise, I would say, as Doncic for three. That is good. He's been a little bit off a few of the games, but Porzingis has really been the one that has been off really probably since game number one. As Alexander can't hit that one, but Najee's there for the board, and he puts this one in on the slam. Nice offensive rebound and puts it in. And, yeah, Porzingis has really been the key for this Mavericks team since he's been off. I mean, they really haven't got anything going. I have to say, too, with Blake Griffin, he's really disappeared a little bit. When Luka goes off, it kind of keeps him in the ball game, and that's about it. But once he's a little bit off, he's out of there and out of the game. They just can't seem to get it going. And right now, we got an early 12 to 6 lead here, looking pretty good. Game number six, trying to close this one out. Don't want to go down to Dallas for a game seven. As Porzingis stepping back, that is going to be good. That'll be a two. So two point game here, 14, 12. Don't want to see Porzingis get going at all. As it's an early, uh, pretty good go game, ball game here early on. 16-12, pretty close. We'll see what happens. We've had these games the last couple games, sometimes a little bit close in the early on. And we'll see what happens going uh, forward. As ball down the lane and he slams it home. Nobody can catch up to him. He's already got 10 points here in this first quarter. He's having a fantastic start. But still, just a three-point lead. Dallas hanging around here with four minutes left in this first quarter. Stanch is stepping back for three off the screen. That's going to be no good. Nice rebound there by McDaniels. Has a few options. Goes down the ball. Ball steps up. He drills the shot. I think it was just a two, but nice job in transition there. Put this one in. Up 5, 20 to 15. As right now playing a little bit of isolation. Gets the screen off. Going down the lane. Throws it over to Luka. Luka down the lane. He puts it up. That's going to be good. So they answer the basket right back. 20-17 to 17 here, the score, with under 3.30 left in this first quarter. So back and forth we go. Ball getting the screen. Goes to the outside, throws this one over Alexander. Down to Najee, back down to ball for three. That's going to be good. Nice ball movement there. Hitting the three. Man, he's got 15 points here in this first quarter. Wow. Unbelievable. Uh, I mean, it's really all been him. Only eight other points here from the rest of the Thunder so far. That's a crazy wild shot. Fade away minus three there. That's going to be no good. Rebound goes to McDaniels. And out to Alexander, who quick shot puts it in for three. That's going to be good. Dallas is going to call a timeout here. They're trying to settle things down. Up nine down here with less than two minutes left. And now got that lead back up to 11. 28-17 here in this ball game as Griffin down the lane slams it home. If you can remember in game number one, we actually had a more than 18 point lead in the uh, second quarter and it just went away and they took game number one here so right now the way Dallas is playing maybe that might be the same here as that's gonna be up and that's gonna be good as Hervey puts it in and I really have to say the minutes that Hervey has put into these playoffs he has been fantastic so far coming off the bench playing so well just the mix max of him and Steven Adams has been fantastic and he has been He's been really outstanding. His ball for three. That's going to be no good. Rebound there. Griffin is under a minute here in this first quarter. Don't want to leave that guy open for three. Puts this one in. So lead back down to seven. 31-24 here. We got ten seconds left in this first quarter. Looks like Dallas is going to take the last shot. As Luka here with four, three, two, one. Just going to put it up. And that's going to be no good. So we got a ten-point lead 
excellent first quarter, putting up 36 points. So now down to three quarters left from a chance to reach the NBA Finals. So 38-30 right now, the score. Ball is going to try to put that one in. That's going to be no good. You can see already has 22 points here in this first half. Unbelievable first quarter. As Luka down the lane, he puts it up, and that's going to be good. So lead down to six. We had that 11-point lead, and now they've gotten this one down to six here. With less than seven minutes left. As that is going to be a three-point attempt. That's going to be no good. Nice rebound there by Hervey. Is trying to speed this up as Ball going to get this one stolen from him. Nice job there by Brunson. Luka now going down the lane, puts it up in the foul. So Dallas trying to cut this lead down to uh, three now with this free throw as this one's going to be up and that's going to be good. So 38-35, a bit of a slow start to this second quarter. As you can see, we're almost four minutes in and we've only had two points right now in this quarter as Dallas really does. Uh, Stepping on the pedal here in this second quarter. Get back in this ball game. As Porzingis for three, he puts it in. And just like that, we're tied. So this quarter has not been uh, very good to us so far. Getting outscored here, 12-2. to two. And we got a tie ball game as Alexander down the lane throws it off to Adams. He puts it up and good. And maybe that will start something here. So two-point lead, lead back here, 40-38. And I don't know the way this game, we might be going back and forth as Alexander puts it up. That's going to be in and out, no good. Rebound Dallas. will get it to Curry. Curry looking to shake up Schroeder. But you can see what happens when Perzingis starts to hit some shots. It really changes things for this offense. As Griffin now, he's going to put it up and good. So they're getting better, you know, more production from Griffin, more for Perzingis. And we got a tie ball game here at 40. Five minutes left here in this first half. And that is an excellent defensive play by Luka Doncic with the steal. Slams it home. And the 16-4 run here in this quarter has now given the Dallas Mavericks the lead. As we're going to try to take the lead right back. But that can't be hit by McDaniels. No good there on the open three. And now Dallas trying to extend their lead. Right down the lane. Gets the foul and gets the basket. So Dallas, just like this, this game has turned around in this quarter. As now Dallas is going to have a five-point lead here with 327 left, 47-42. Man, about seven minutes into this quarter, almost three minutes left, we've only scored six points. I don't know what is going on with the offense here in this quarter. It was a fantastic job in the first quarter, not in the second. As down the lane goes Schroeder, he gets the foul and puts it in. That is what we needed. We needed to get a very big shot there and the foul. So can you put in this free throw here to put the Dallas lead back down to two? He will. So 47, 45, three minutes left here in this first half. Excellent game six we got going here. You expected this from Dallas. You know they weren't going to go out like they have been in the last few games as Luka puts in the three, gets that three-point play from Schroeder right back. And now it's 52-47, less than two minutes left. And, yeah, you knew Dallas was going to put up a fight. They weren't going to go out like that. A Schroeder for three. Puts it in. Getting some good shots and good play here from Dennis Schroeder in this second quarter. Kind of keeping us in the ball game. 52-50. As Wright's going to throw it over to Powell. He tries to put it up. That's going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to McDaniels. And McDaniels has an open man. It's going to be Najee. He goes down the lane and slams it home. And we've gotten back into this ball game. Tied up at 52 now. So Dallas got a bit of a run. Had about a 6-7 point lead. And now we've gotten back. And we got it back tied here with 115 left. Luka throws it at the Jackson for three. He drills that one. That one is good. Lead goes back to Dallas here. 55-54 as Portis tries the three. No good. Rebound is going to be Najee. He's going to get it out to Alexander. He'll try the three. That's going to be good. Lead goes back to us. 57-55 with less than 30 seconds left in the first half. And we have a chance here to try for this final shot. So we got the lead back. McDaniels down the lane. He's going to draw the foul. That's going to be no good. But he'll go to the line now for two and try to extend this lead up to at least four here. So first free throw from McDaniels is going to be up and good. So now 58-55. Dallas, we'll see what happens on this free throw attempt. We'll have a chance to hit the last shot. That's going to be good. So 59-55, 4.6 seconds left. Get down. Brunson's going to take this one. Just going to have to throw it up. And that is going to be no good. So we did lose the lead. But we gained it right back. Come back at it. 59-55. We go into halftime now. Just one 
half away. You can see Ball, he's like, he can smell it. He is pumped. He is ready. He can smell a victory and a possible NBA Finals appearance. You can see the hash from Ball. 22 from Ball. Luka with 27 first half points. Both guys doing everything they can to be, put up a victory and, uh, you know, for Dallas, extend the series for us, clinch this one, as that's a great steal there. And now right down the lane, he's going to put up the basket. And now we got a 59-57 ball game to start off this third quarter. As ball down the lane, he's going to back this one out. Go to Nashi. Got a bit of a mismatch here. Chance to uh, take advantage. Gets the spin move inside. Puts it up. And he puts it up and good. Gets that two point right back. 61-57. And I expect this second half. I think this is going to be an absolute crazy second half. Team trying to, you know, continue the series here. And yes, Luca puts it in. He's having a fantastic game. So, you know, he's going to be all out trying to do whatever they can. And we don't want to go back to Dallas for game number seven. So we're going to do everything we can here. So this could be a crazy back-and-forth game as Luka puts this one in. Lead back down to two. So kind of staying around that range here. We maybe extend the lead to four or five, but then they just get it right back. As down the lane. Look at that passing. Look at the give-and-go by Najee. Outstanding passing by the offense there. We got a one point lead though. And now Luca off the rebound. He's taking Alexander down the lane. That's going to be no good. Nice defense, at least making that shot tough. As McDaniels is going to bring it up. He goes down the lane. No defense there. And he slams it home. Jane McDaniels, just like Hervey. Hervey's put up some fantastic playoffs. And McDaniels has been the same. He has been almost a triple double machine. He's just put, you can see, 8 8 and 6 so far in this ball game. He has really had those. Fantastic type ball games. This Porzingis in the corner can't drill that one. That's really been the story of him the last two games. As down the lane, but throws it over to Alexander for three. Wide open. Puts it in. Huge shot. Crowd going crazy. Six-point lead here in this third quarter. That was a big one. But still, Dallas only just down four. As right throws it over. And this is going to be an absolute crazy rejection. Najee with the rejection. Over the ball for three. No good in and out. Oh, man, that would have been fantastic if he would have put that one in. And now Luca going down the lane, and he slams it home, puts it in. And the lead is back down to two here, 70 to 68, about halfway through this third quarter. Man, what a ball game. As now Alexander going to try to take him down to the lane. He puts it up and good. Great offensive there. Alexander puts it in. It's a two, still just a two-point lead, 72-70. As a three will give them the lead. Luca puts it up. That's going to be no good. But he draws the foul there. McDaniels will be able to go to line here to try to tie this ball game up. First one is going to be good. And he's got 35 points here. And make it 36. As he ties this ball game up, man, he's got half of their points. He's got half of their points. Crazy. Luca with 36. As ball down the lane, he puts it up, and that's going to be no good. We'll draw the foul there just for us, and now a chance for us to go to the line for two and get the lead right back. The way this game is going, as ball misses the free throw, that's pretty rare. Second chance here, that's going to be good. So one-point lead. The way this is game going, I know we're just in the third quarter. We'll see how the rest of this goes, and we'll see what goes into the fourth quarter, but, man, the way it's looking... It's almost like the final possession. Whoever has the final possession is going to have a chance to win this ball game. As Griffin puts it up and good. Gives the lead back to Dallas. 74-73 here with 250 left. Man, we're just in the third quarter. This is pretty nuts here. As Hood has a bit of a mismatch there. Curry, he puts advantage. Puts it in. Takes advantage of that. Puts it in. Lead back to us. 75 74, and now it's 77, 76, less than a minute left. Ball down the lane, trying to draw the foul, cannot, but at least puts in the basket. Lead up to three here, 79, 76, and now Dallas is going to have the final shot here. Eight seconds, Brunson looking around, six, five, four, trying to get the double screen. He's going to have to pop a shot here with one second left. That's going to be no good, and we'll go into the fourth quarter up three here. 79-76, and man, what a third quarter that was. Here we go, one quarter away from a possible game-clinching number six. Or are we going back to Dallas for game number seven? And that is a fantastic start as Alexander down the lane draws the foul. 
and also puts in the basket. Chance for a three-point play here. So can he finish this one off? He will. So lead up to seven. 86-79. Can we close out this Dallas team here? This is 86-80, 7-29 left. Alexander going to put it out to Rodney Hood. Chance for three, and he puts it in. Big shot there. Lead up to nine. Dallas calls a timeout. Great job by Rodney Hood. You need those, you know, big baskets from bench guys every once in a while in these playoffs. We got one there. And now can we hold on to it? So seven-point lead now. Right. Going to take down the lane, Schroeder. And he's going to put it up, and he's going to put it up, and that's going to be good. Lead back down to five now. 89-84, 6-15 left. Giving some guys some bench time. You see, not still not in there. It's McDaniels and Ball letting them get some rest. As Schroeder trying to put in a big shot, and he does. He puts in the three. Lead up to eight. He hit one of those big threes earlier. Hits one here with less than six left. So Curry now going down the lane. Curry can't get that one to go. No good. Down to Alexander, and he's going to slam this one home. Puts the lead up to 10 here, 94-84, with about five minutes left. This crowd can feel it. Can we slow down this Mavericks team? Out, that's going to be Pal. He'll put it in. That's going to be good. So they get a quick basket right back, lead back down to eight here with 5-10 left. And Schroeder taking it over to Alexander, getting the screen here. From Adams, can he drill this? 3D can! That's a huge shot from Alexander! Ginormous shot, lead up to 11, and with four minutes left, you can see we got the lead up to 13 as Luka puts up a wild shot. So now Dallas may be running out of juice here. Schroeder down the Najee, gets Porzingis up, and then puts in the basket! Lead is going to be up to 15 now! And it looks like we have worn down this Dallas team with 317 left. As Ball throwing up a crazy shot, he drills it! Unbelievable! What a shot there from LaMelo Ball! Lead up to 18 with 2.10 left, and you can smell it now as Ball's just going to throw another one up. That's going to be no good. And Dallas may be down to their final two minutes here as Luka for three. That's going to be good. So it reduces the lead now down to 13, but with the limited possessions left, we just got to waste as much time don't let them get these open three here as Luca is going to try to take this down the lane. Throws it over to Jackson. He puts it in. So another, that's actually going to be a two foot on the line. Lead down to 11 here as now it's 104-93. Luca with the steal. He's going to take this one down the lane. Jackson now open for three and he misses it. That was huge. That would have taken the lead down to eight with about 110 left, but he misses it. We get the board, and we got one minute left here and kind of just waste some time and really now feel this when we got this victory in the bag as down the lane, ball's going to draw the foul there on right. Man, this is crazy. I can't believe what has turned in this fourth quarter as ball with the first free throw is going to be good. 105, 93, 52 seconds left. Ball puts the second one up and good. And with a 13-point lead here with 52 seconds left, unless Dallas has some sort of miracle in him, it looks like we're going to win this ball game as that's going to be no good. Rebound is going to go to Ball. And now we could just slow it up. Slow it up a little bit. Get this crowd into it. Now, no, we are definitely going to the NBA Finals. This Ball just takes the open lane, slams it home. Slams this series away, puts the Mavericks away for the final time, and we can waste the clock. Five seconds left. Four, three, two, one, and we are going to the NBA Finals. Are you kidding me? This Oklahoma City Thunder team, we had some expectations this year of possibly making the playoffs. We knew we had some talent on this team. The young guys are so talented. We've added some veterans, and it's worked out. We are going to the NBA Finals. I have to say we have definitely exceeded those expectations by reaching the Finals as Ball puts up 40 points. Alexander with some big shots, 23-7-5. McDaniels with 8-12-8. He was fantastic as well. Yeah, we've definitely exceeded expectations. There is no doubt about it. But everybody is playing to their full potential now. 
And man, we've done it. We're going to the NBA Finals. We was uh, Luca puts up 40. But uh, the key, like I said, the key was Griffin and Porzingis. Porzingis, another terrible game. 4 of 16. He, he tore us up in game one. And that's why they made that comeback and they won that game in game one. Ever since the games we've seen him in, games four, games five, and now game six, he has absolutely struggled, and it's hurt this Mavericks team big time. They need him, and they've got really no, other than Luka putting up great production, they've really got nobody else. And you can see now, we will be taking on the Orlando Magic. So the NBA Finals will be the Oklahoma City Thunder and the Orlando Magic. So these franchises... We got, we're going to have ourselves a new champion. Neither one of these franchises, if you're just counting the Thunder and you're counting the Magic, none of these franchises have won a final. The last time I think the Magic were in the NBA Finals was 1995. They got swept by the Houston Rockets. So, Thunder, Magic, NBA Finals. Let's take a look at this Magic team. So you got Vujacic, Jonathan Isaac, Markel Fultz, Enos Cantor, uh, Mo Bamba, Aaron Gordon. So, very young. Same thing just like us. They're a very young team. They got a decent amount of, you know, guys that can come off the bench and be leaders and, you know, kind of uh, give you that veteran presence. But I would say with Isaac, obviously Fultz, Mo Bamba, you got your young guys, and Vujicic, obviously, and Enos Cantor. But, man, this is a good team. It, it took seven to beat Milwaukee. Milwaukee's outstanding, obviously. Took care of the number one seed in the uh, 76ers. So this is going to be a good one. What an NBA Finals. The Oklahoma City Thunder, Orlando Magic. Cannot wait to get this one going. And that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. If you please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.